What is going on in the world? I am your man, Dre Day. And I hate harping on this subject, but you can't get around it if you pay attention to the news about the migration crisis. But um, I recall a time when the former President Trump was in office. They wanted to, along with uh, Greg Abbott, I want to say they wanted to call in a military national guard to help work on the uh border issues but then you had some politicians come out and say that's racist it's illegal and things of that nature but uh this article's come from fox news it's a democrat governor kathy hochel calls in national guard amid new york's worsening migrant crisis Democrat, Democratic New York Governor Katie Hochul announced Monday she is calling the National Guard to assist on the ongoing migrant crisis. Hochul announced an additional 150 National Guard members will be deployed to the address the migrant crisis and help with the case management and get asylum seekers work permits, particularly Venezuelans who now qualify for temporary protected status. The additional 150 members bring the total number of National Guardsmen supporting the mission to 2,200. The governor said 250 National Guard members will focus solely on case management to help the Venezuelans who came before July 31st to apply for temporary protected status and then work authorization. Now that we have the opportunity granted by President Biden to help the Venezuelans who came before July 31st, be able to apply for a temporary protective status. And what follow that literally with the same application is a work authorization, that coveted work authorization. That's their ticket to the American dream, she said. You'll be helping them get a job, helping them support themselves, helping them leave their shelters because I believe they did not come all these thousands of miles to live in a shelter with hundreds, if not thousands of others, Hochul said. So the National Guard has already been working to survey them. We have different categories. Some people are eligible to work right now. If they already came in through the Customs and Border Protection app, there are people qualified for that. There are parolees eligible to work. There are asylum seekers who need to apply for asylum and wait 180 days. And now we have this new category that allow the expedited work permits for Venezuelans who arrive here earlier. The governor said that some of the migrants <clears throat> who arrived in New York City may be here just want a bus ticket to another state, but they don't know where to go. We can make that happen, she said. But you have those conversations, but you have to have those conversations. Hoke says she's dedicated over $150 million to support case management all over the state. Must be nice. I wish I could get a free ticket to any other state. Arizona, Tennessee, maybe. That'd be nice. Government paid expense. Can I get some of that same treatment here? This comes as New York City officials say more than 116,000 migrants have arrived from the southern border since last year. New York City, City Mayor Eric Adams has said the migrant crisis will destroy the Big Apple. They do not receive more federal support. Relations between Adams and President Biden have soured over the past several months of the crisis. Biden did not meet with Adams during the president's recent visit to New York City to address United Nations General Assembly last week. Sorry for the sudden pauses, but I'm a habitual dipper. I need to quit. Hopefully, one of my viewers can help me motivate to quit. Or I could just quit myself. I don't need no motivation, but show me some support. I need some comments saying you want me to quit so I can live a healthier life. Continuing on, meeting with Hochul instead, the Biden administrator later 
administration later announced Homeland Security would approve work authorization and deportation delays for approximately 478,000 Venezuelans already in the U.S. DHS said that that the temporary protected status extended to Venezuelans for 18 months will not apply to those who arrived after July 31st. <clears throat> Excuse me. After an extensive lobbying effort with the White House and the collab collaboration that resulted with the president being engaged in helping us with that decision, on the asylum seekers just a few days ago, that is a path. It is a very strong opportunity for us to start helping some some of these people, Hokel said Monday. Recognizing the overwhelming challenge, Hokel said, I give all the credit to the world, to the city. I give all the credit to I give all the credit the world to the city of New York and Mayor Adams for what he they had to deal with and the numbers continue to grow and we're there to be their partners but to those who question even why this is happening this is New York she said you need to remember this in New York we celebrate our diversity we celebrate who we are we will not be this state if we were not open to immigrants around the world Hochul said the state is covering between 40 to 45 percent of the cost of housing migrants so far, including fitting the entire bill for the migrant facility at Floyd Bennett Field. What are your thoughts and opinions on it? I think we have a lot of issues here in the U.S. And so we have inflation and all that cost of living going up. Can we really afford to be helping others when it seems like we're not getting that much help on our end? I don't know. That's just my opinion. But uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am Trevor.